everyone what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm maddie i run edtech classroom the blog podcast and of course youtube channel in today's video i'm giving a beginner's tutorial on how to use moat moat is a google chrome extension that allows teachers to provide students with meaningful verbal feedback on google docs slides classroom and more i'm a really big fan of moat because as a teacher it will help you save time and it allows you to provide your students with verbal instead of written feedback. So without further ado, let's get started. I am on the Moat website and I got here just by going to moat.com. Our first step is we are going to add this as an extension. So first we'll click here on the button that says add to Chrome on the home page. This will redirect us to the Chrome Web Store where we can actually add this as an extension. So I can click here on the button that says add to Chrome and I can click on add extension. And now this will actually add Moat as an extension to our Google Chrome. You'll see that another notification has appeared in the top right hand corner. I'm going to just exit this out, but essentially what it says is if you would like to access the Moat extension, you can click here on your extension bar and you can access it right here. So next what we want to do is we want to actually create a Moat account. To create a Moat account, you can use your Google account. So I can click on this button right here that says sign up with Google. Now one thing I do want to point out is when you get started with Moat, you will have access to a 30 day trial of Moat Unlimited. I will outline some of those features in Moat Unlimited in just a minute here. You will also notice that when I click sign up with Google and I begin creating my account, because I actually already have a Moat account, you'll notice that I do not have access to this 30 day free trial. That's because mine has already expired. But I did wanna point out if you're brand new to Moat, you will have access to this 30 day trial of Moat Unlimited. So I'm gonna click here on sign up with Google and I can choose my account and I can press continue. And now you'll see I've been taken to my Moat account. Right now we are inside of my account settings and I have some information here about the plan that I currently am on. You'll see that my free trial has expired. So I currently have a free plan instead of the unlimited plan. Now I wanna show you guys what the actual differences between these plans are. If I click on this upgrade now button, you'll see that there are three different plan types. There's a free plan, which Moat recommends, and I also recommend is really great for teachers who are just starting out with this tool. In the middle here is the unlimited plan. The unlimited plan is really useful for individuals and teams. And then the plan on the right hand side is great for schools and districts. If I scroll down here, you'll be able to see some of the pricing information. So on the left hand side, as part of this free account, you will get access to some really incredible features. I personally find myself only really needing to have this free account, even though there are of course benefits to the unlimited account in particular. With a free Moat account, you are able to record a Moat or a voice note on any web page. You can save time with app integrations, you can leave 30 second notes or 30 second moats on student work, meaning that the recording time is a total of 30 seconds. And you can also leave 20 moats per month. Now in the middle here under this unlimited plan, there are a few features that are pretty nice to have. First, there is a 180 second recording time. So instead of being capped at just 30 seconds, you're actually able to record up to 180 seconds as part of your Moat recording. Now, I personally have never left a comment longer than 30 seconds, but this unlimited feature might be nice if you're trying to provide longer feedback for students. Another really handy feature is that the unlimited Moat account actually does voice to text transcription meaning that as you record your voice note for students, there's actually an option to uh, bring the text transcription into the note for students to be able to read as well. So this is a great time saving feature, the fact that it can actually transcribe your note for you. Lastly, you also have the ability to save and reuse your notes. 
If you have ever used the comment bank feature on Google Classroom, where you're able to write a comment and then share that comment with multiple students and kind of reuse it over and over again, this feature here in Moat is very similar. So if you record a message, um, you can actually share that message on different assignments. So let's say a student submits their work but forgets to put their name on their work, for example. You might want to actually save a moat where you remind students to write their name on their work and then you can reuse that across multiple different assignments. So that's a really handy time-saving feature. So the unlimited moat account is going to cost $39 per year, but you can get started using that free trial that I mentioned earlier. All right, so now that we've talked about some of these differences in these plans, let's actually take a look at what Moat looks like in action. So now we are on Google Docs here, and this is going to be an example of a sample student assignment. So let's pretend that a student created this assignment in Google Docs, and they wrote, I love that my teacher can use Moat to leave meaningful feedback on my assignments. So now that you have read the student work, what you can do as the teacher is you can leave a voice note using Moat. So to do that, you can go up here to the button that says insert and then click on the option that says comment. So this is much like how you normally leave a comment on Google Docs. However, you might notice there's a slight difference to this comment block here. You'll see where the comment field is where you can actually type your comment on the right hand side, there is this button here that's the Moat logo that you can actually click to begin recording your voice note. So once I click this, I can actually begin recording my feedback. Because we are using the free plan of Moat, I will have 30 seconds to be able to record. So once I click this, it will begin recording. Great work on this assignment. I love that you put a lot of time and care into it. Please be sure going forward to remember to add punctuation to the end of your sentences. Great work. So now you'll see that my voice note has actually recorded. The next step is you can actually add a transcription. So when we were speaking about the Moat Unlimited plan earlier, I mentioned that there is a voice to text transcription option that's actually automatically uploaded using the Moat Unlimited. So this is something that's automated. However, with the free account, you do have the ability to type your own transcription if you would like. To do this, you can click here on this pencil button to review and edit your transcription. Great work on this assignment. I love that you put a lot of time and care into it. Please be sure going forward to remember to add punctuation to the end of your sentences. Great work. So you can actually type out the transcription just like I was doing as the message was playing out loud. Obviously, I didn't type out everything here. You can do that as the teacher. But for this example, I just wrote great work on this assignment. I love that you put a lot of time and care into it. Please be sure to add punctuation to the end of your sentences going forward. Something like that. Then when you're done, you can go ahead and click on the save button to save this transcription. Now as the teacher, when you're ready, you can click on comment to leave a comment on student work. So now let's take a look at what this actually looks like from the student perspective. So right now I am logged into Moat using a student account. This is what the student perspective would look like. Now on the right hand side, you'll see that there is a note here that says click to hear my voice note. And there's a link for students to be able to click on. I'm going to click on this link so you guys can see what happens. So again, this is the student view. As the student, I can click on this link and I can actually press this play button or I can read the transcription here. So if I press play as the student, I can listen to the voice note from my teacher. So that is something that's really handy. Now this view that we just looked at here, this is the view if students do not have a Moat account. So oftentimes many teachers will choose to have a Moat account and students might not actually have their own accounts. So if students don't have an account, they will have that link that they have to click on. Let's actually take a look at what this interface looks like if students have their own Moat account. 
So I just quickly actually added the Moat extension to this student account, and now you'll see that the comment on the right hand side looks a little bit different. So because this student now has their own Moat account installed into their Chrome browser, you'll see that instead of a link for students to click on, there's the actual message is embedded into the comment here. So I can click on the comment and I can click on the play button. Great work on this assignment. I love that you put a lot of time and to be able to actually listen to the comment without ever having to leave Google Docs. So for this reason, it is pretty handy for students to have access to a Moat account themselves. Now, because every school has different, um, different restrictions in terms of the tech tools that students are able to use, you might need to check in with the administrators at your school to give students access to having Moat accounts. So that's one thing I would like to point out. However, if your students aren't able to have their own Moat accounts, it's still quick and simple for them to be able to click on the link to then listen to the note in a new tab. So now we are back looking at the teacher perspective, and there's a few other features that I want to point out about Moat. So we are going to go up here to our extension bar and we are going to click on Moat to access this tool. You'll see that you can access your Moat account anytime you are on Google Chrome just by clicking on the extension. So a few things again that I'd like to point out. Right here you'll see that we have this button here that says My Recent Moats. If I click on the drop down, you'll see that these are some examples of some moats that I put together. You'll notice there's two. One, I was playing around with creating a recording before this video began, and then the other is the one that we put together uh, as part of this video. You can also click here under your account details to see what your plan type is like. You can enable the extension as we have here. You can click on these settings if you'd like to explore these settings. This one in particular, this enable voice to text is a part of the Moat Unlimited that's really useful to, for creating that, that transcription. Um, so a few other features down here that you can toggle and enable. There's also this option here that says my activity and engagement. I personally find this, this right here to be very handy. So let's click on it and see what it's all about. So we are on the My Activity tab as part of Moat, and you'll see that we can actually see all of the Moats or the voice notes that we have left so far on Moat. Um, so up here at the top, you can actually see if a student has viewed the assignment. So you'll see that my student's name, Maddie, or my personal Gmail account, has actually viewed the comment. So I see right here that this student has opened or viewed the comment, and I also can see that the student has listened to the comment. So I really like that Moat actually points out if a student has seen and listened to your voice comments. So that's something that's pretty handy about this activity tab. In today's video, I used Google Docs to show how Moat works. You can actually use Moat with a variety of other tools that are part of the Google Suite, including Slides, Classroom, and Sheets. So Moat is a really handy tool for providing verbal comments on a variety of different tools as part of the Google Suite. The interface looks pretty similar. Students are still able to access the notes in a very similar format, much like how you might typically access a comment in Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, and more. This was very much a beginner's tutorial to getting started with Moat, particularly with the free plan. As I mentioned at the beginning of today's video, there are some affordances to getting the paid plan, but I always recommend that teachers start out with the free version. So thank you so much for watching today's video all about how to get started with Moat. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I post bi-weekly tech tutorials for teachers, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye, friends.